However, just because they weren't limited to them doesn't mean they didn't repeatedly show them. Because they did. But you see, they weren't just... But you see, the Heart of Barbarian Superstars 10 series wasn't just limited to syndication, no. There have been various times throughout the years where they have been shown on different cable networks. Most notably and recently, the only cable networks that have ever shown them have been Cartoon Network and Boomerang. But before that, there were cable networks like Disney and Nickelodeon that took a shot at them as well. But they will be mostly known for making their debut in syndication as part of the weekend morning, I believe, if not weekend afternoon, two-hour block called the Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series. Now, of course, this also meant that the Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series, time-wise, would usually be aired, aired almost at the end of the Saturday morning block. In other words, around 12 o'clock Pacific time and maybe even Central time, or even at basically that time frame wherever you live. So that way, the Saturday morning block could be over, and it could officially come to an end with a two-hour movie. Now, basically what that means by two-hour movie, by coming to an end with a two-hour movie, is real simple. You enjoy your, basically your five hours, six hours of Saturday morning cartoons. You probably enjoy your one hour, maybe, or so of Saturday mornings story break or weekend specials and depending on the time frame and depending on the time frame whether it was 12 o'clock from what I remember straight up or maybe earlier or an hour later you got to enjoy two hours worth of Hanna Barbera animation with a full length made for television animated film and that's what Hanna Barbera Superstar 10 series is also going to be known for historically is the only tele is the only animation company that ever made animated television films to begin with. It's true. It is indeed true. Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series will go down in history history as the only animation company and the only animation block, if you will, known from Airing for making, airing, and releasing onto syndicated television, if not network and cable television, the very first, and I know there may be debates out there, but the very first made for television animated feature films. That is true. Because up until then, and even nowadays, the only made for animated television films you get are live action. And they're either comedy or mostly dramatic. But that's what Hanna Barbera's Superstar 10 series was all about. Out. Ending your Saturday mornings with a two hour block of nostalgic animation featuring your favorite animated characters from Hanna Barbera starring in their own animated feature films made for television. And that's a bit, of, and that's all you could say about it, folks. Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series is indeed an historic time in the in the late 80s, if not early 90s, for people like myself and those watching this video. And it will definitely go down in history as the only block to ever debut you and premiere made-for-television animated feature films. And that's the one thing Hanna Barbera, owned by Warner Brothers or not, will be known for. Is the only animation company to, and I mean it, the only animation company to release and premiere made for television animated films. Not Disney, not Warner Brothers, not even Filmation. But they, Hanna Barbera, because of the series, will be going down in history. Is the only one to do so. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Talk to you all later. Hope you enjoyed my look at Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series. Peace out.